you guys welcome back to the channel you know I'm back in the old bookish setup anyways I'm feeling very nostalgic for the setup because this was books is where my channel started and I'm coming back to it for this video um, today we're gonna be doing the big book tag which is basically where I show you guys five of the biggest books that I've read ever and then also two of the biggest books on my TBR. So, um, yeah, let's get started. First off, there's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Uh, this book is about 800 pages, I think. It's about 766, so nearly 800 pages. I read this when I was 10 years old. <laughs> um, but basically, I have a really sentimental attachment to this book because actually, I learned how to read in English while I was reading this book. I read the whole Harry Potter series in French originally because I only learned how to read in English when I was about 9, 10-ish. I was reading it so fast that my parents hid the books from me. Um, so I was reading number four secretly and then they were like, that's it, you're not allowed to read anymore because all you ever do is read and you can't, like, you can't do nothing but read. Like, you have to do your homework and all that. I know, right? A nine-year-old doing homework. Um, but yeah, so, um, then they hid the French, because we have the fifth book in French and English, so they hid the fifth book from me, like the French version from me, because they knew I couldn't read in English. So I taught myself how to read in English so I could read this book. And then I secretly read five, six, and seven um, for two months. And then um, after the two months, my mom gave me back the first, the fifth book in French, and she was like, here, you can read Harry Potter again. And I said, I finished the series, so it's okay. Anyways, I promise that talking about the next books won't be that long. I just have a really sentimental attachment to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So the next book that's super long that I read is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Um, also, I also read Lady Midnight. Lady Midnight is a fair book amount of pages as well so like this entire dark artifice series by cassie claire is like ginormous it's about 700 pages as well so i read this last year or two years ago whenever it came out i read it right, right when it came out this is a fantastic book i think that this is Cassandra claire's best series yet um sh i love her shadow hunters world and uh, emma and julian are the best characters so far like the blackthorn family and all that i just feel like so far they're the best cast of characters that have existed so the next long book that I read is Warstorm by Victoria Aveyard. Let's check how long this one is. I think the sleeve is on backwards. Yep, this book is backwards. <laughs> okay, this book is also 700 pages. Um, but I have to say, in all honesty, the Red Queen series is not my favorite, but I, I read the whole thing because I hate um, not finishing series. Red Queen, the first book, is very, very good. Um, and... Like, I love the plot idea for this book. I think it's so good. I just don't think it was done to its full potential. Like, I think it has so much more potential to go in a different direction than the direction it went in. And then this book was also, like, a letdown because it was the last book in the series. I think the, the only good part about this book was Evangeline's story. Evangeline is... Oh, she's such a boss-ass bitch. I love her so much. So the next two longest books are both books by Sarah J. Maas, obviously, because she's my queen, and... She writes hella long books, okay? So there's A Court of Mist and Fury, which is 700 pages, just about, and... <coughs> yeah, this is definitely the longest book I've ever read. Um, 900 pages <laughs> in this book, and 700 in this one. Oh, it's backwards. Yeah, so these... Okay, so Sarah J. Mass is my queen, in case you guys didn't know. Um, her... She's my favorite author. Uh, her books are my favorite, and I love her so much. She's... Her stories are everything. And, um, I'm so happy that I got to read them. And I don't even care that some of her stories are about a thousand pages. Like, I'm gonna read the whole dang thing, okay? Yeah. So next up, I have <clears throat> my two TBR books that I are huge. That I The first TBR book is... El... Oh! El... Oh! <clears throat> I just... I just hit my scratch myself with my book okay <clears throat> okay so the first one is Elana et le pacte des marchands Elana la prophétie this is the third book in a trilogy that I started reading a long time ago um I have to finish it but it's just so dang huge like I'm really intimidated by this book bro 
600 pages in this book. How does... Why is it this big if there's only 600 pages? This book, I don't know, I, I've i always been intimidated by reading this book. I don't know why, it just looks so big. And the series is so complex, you know, like just the inner workings of this series. So I don't know how fast I'm going to get to this book, but yeah. And the next biggest book on my TBR is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This book came out in December, y'all, um, and I, it's the next book in the Dark Artifices, so you got Lord of Shadows, which was the second one, and then this one is the third one and the last one. I'm scared. <laughs> also because I'm currently reading Winter right now, so I don't read two books at the same time, I can't focus on, on that. But yeah, so this is this book and I'm scared because something very terrible happened at the end of Lord of Shadows, and I ain't excited to read about it in this book. Ow! I scratched my own pinky. Anyways. So this book is about uh, 900 pages. It's 880, so it's very close to 900. That's all for this book video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are all the books. Okay, let's see if I can hold them up. Oh, I cannot. They're heavy as fuck. <laughs> okay, so here are all the books that I've mentioned in this video. None of them are going to be linked down below because I want y'all to watch this video. Don't want you to snoop in the description, see all the books, and then click off. Because, let's be real, I do that. And a lot of people do that too, I bet. So anyways, love y'all. Hope you um, enjoy these big book recommendations. One of them is stabbing into my ribs, and it's really uncomfortable. Thanks for coming to my channel. I almost said thanks for coming to my book island. Oh my god, this is so sad. I kind of miss the old channel, but I'm happy with where it's going right now. So I'm not going to go backwards. Anyways. Thank you guys for visiting me. If you guys made it to the end of this video, please comment a book. Yeah, comment a book. Do that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Whoa! <laughs> and thank you very much for coming to join me. Goodbye!